Good day, gamers. Swingpin here with another solo Bed Wars video. Today, we were playing on Glacier when Bed Wars decided to kick us out of the game, and we ended up losing our bed because of it. Watch to the end to see if we were able to pull out the Bed Wars clutch. Please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. We are just getting started, just getting a lot of support rolling in, and I really appreciate it all. Please leave a comment because I will be replying to every single comment that you leave on this video. So if you want to hear from me, just comment on the video. But let's get to it. All right, here on Glacier, not a map I play a ton, but it's definitely a good map. I don't play it a lot for a couple of reasons. One, it's slow iron. I like fast iron maps. It just allows me to have blocks more often. Don't really have to wait in gins. I enjoy that. Although it is kind of nice not to get fireballed off all the time. Don't see a ton of fireballs on Glacier. The other thing is there's a bunch of diagonal bridging that typically happens. And I'm just not a big fan of diagonal bridges. I'm slow at it. I fall sometimes. White's got his bed covered. I'm going to try to get over there as quick as I can. And he's coming out. He's probably going to be higher than me. Oh, man. I had to speed bridge fast. I knew he was going to be above me because he could see where I was at. I was right, but fell in the void trying to do it. Now we're going to have to run out here with no blocks. Makes that really difficult. Okay, but we were able to handle him in PvP really easily. Not good to fall in the void. I think I would have got smacked in the void if I didn't try to staircase like that anyway. So that's the risk. When you don't bridge up real high, you um, that they'll see where you're at. So it makes it really easy to be the second person. You can just go above them have a huge advantage. Did he disconnect? Yep. Okay. I will take it. So then from here on this map, one of the reasons I don't like it, I am never sure where to go. You can go to mid and attack the it, you can attack diagonally. Again, I don't really enjoy diagonal speed bridging much, so I typically don't want to do that. But, either way, I think it takes a lot of game sense, which is something I typically am good at, but I just, like I said, don't spend a lot of time on this map. Well, I got disconnected there, not sure what happened, so we're going to have to lose all everything I had and spend 10 seconds here respawning. I love that new update stops people from disconnect reconnecting but it might cost me my bed here actually it's gonna cost me my bed there I got wamboed okay well that's really unfortunate he's just gonna keep moving oh he was a final two man He's going to get attacked by Pink, who still does have a bed. I'm going to keep it moving. Try to get a clutch here. That disconnection, that's really annoying. Still had a chance to, to stop him in PvP there. Just wasn't able to do it, but I think without that disconnection, I probably would have been fine. Now I have no diamonds, no bed. There's still two beds in the game. Okay, so we're going to have four here. At least we'll have sharp. We'll have a sharp iron sword. Pretty powerful. Okay. Blue must have never spawned in. The TNT and a bunch of gaps. So one thing that's important, you do not want extra swords in your inventory because if for whatever reason you were to throw out your sword on accident, which happens every once in a while, you will then not have a sword in your main sword slot. You'll probably be punching somebody and you'll you'll lose if you're doing that. So I always make sure I put those in my ender chest or random chest or just leave them on the ground. Just a little thing that could lead to you losing. Hopefully we can get prop 2 here. We're going to wait for it regardless. And it's no indicator of where is the... Okay, well, for some reason the timer's not 
working in the diamond gen, but no big deal. We still got our two diamonds. We're still super broke, super, super poor, but starting to get there. Definitely have enough gaps. I think the only way I'm going to win this is if I get to mid. So I'm going to go get some M's. If I can get eight of them, I'll get a diamond sword and a pearl, which will help a lot. It's like red's been here and pink's here now. Pink's the one with the bed. I don't really want to fight him right now. I'd be pretty willing to fight red. Oh, I about jumped in the void. We've got no gear. Maybe we aren't poor. Maybe everybody's just poor. Let's be a little safer. Red's got diamond armor. That sucks. Six. Gonna be able to get eight? Is there gonna be? A, I think we already hit this gin, maybe. Nope. We're gonna get seven. And I have no idea how much longer until the next set's gonna respawn because for some reason the gin timer's gone. Okay, well, apparently, <laughs> apparently we got our fourth diamond. I've never seen that happen. I don't know if it's because I got disconnected and the game's just not caught up or what, but. It's weird. So we got Prot 2 now. Unfortunately, we got 7 M's. I'm going to get a Pearl. It'll be a lot better if we had 8. Move everything around. Inventory management, really important. Another Fireball. Pearl always goes in my third slot. It's one of my safest hotkeys I can do. Obviously, the pearl's essentially an extra life if you're good with it, so I always want to keep it there. Doesn't look like much has happened. I think I'm going to have to go attack. I'm going to have to do the attack on pink. It'd be great if I could bait him out. If I can bait him out here and pearl into his base. That's the easiest way to get someone when you have a pearl. I can also just fireball him off if that's what I need to do. Red wants to come fight. That's not great. Get away. Don't actually care about killing him yet. I really just want to kill this guy. So we're going to do a little bit of this and hopefully that will get him. It did not. Try again. We're going to go in either way, though. That's a final. I don't know why he jumped there. He must have fallen. There's no way he was. He just chose to jump. Okay, we have another pearl now. We still have to deal with a guy with iron, diamond armor. So that's that's not ideal, but that's what we got to do. So his movement didn't tell me that he was amazing. Could be wrong, though. We're going to do this jump just because I have 14 gaps. He's going to come meet me in a minute. No, he's going to stay on his base, which probably a good thing for now. I can play this a little safer, which I plan to. I get a diamond sword that kind of neutralizes the diamond armor. I already have a pearl. He's going to let me. He's probably not going to let me. I wouldn't either. Come on, dude. Let's fight. Game. A little anti climatic there, but we got the clutch. Fireballs are good, man. Fireballs are good. So, oh well. Well, that'll do it. I'll see you in the outro. Thank you so much for watching the video. I really appreciate the support. Please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. And please consider also commenting on the video. I will be replying to every single comment that's left on this video. So if you want to hear from me, please leave a comment. We are just getting started. We have a lot left to do. And I will see you.